All right, Shalom. So like, uh, I had ran out of space. I had to clear up some space. But, you know, again, you know, call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashim, And um, continuing on where I left off on this article, you know. The Lord is not a respecter of persons, man. This, uh, again, this article says a 15-year-old boy was shot at Arkansas school. You know, and, and you know, you got kids bringing guns to school. I mean, you know, it's not nothing new, but and now it's like it's a, it's like a regular thing. Like kids, why do why do why should kids have to go to school strapped up? You know, what, what's going on? Like, you know, but that's the that's that, that's the fact that you know, kids being at school is is you know, the more kids is at school, the less. Uh, presence the parents have in these kids' lives, man. Okay, and um, this young boy, okay, uh, which was another 15 year old boy, um, that got shot. He ended up dying later on at the hospital. But you know, now this this other 15 year old kid, he's he's being locked up. He might be charged as an adult. Who knows, man? But that's that's two lives. One is is lost. And the other is just messed up for the rest of his life. You know? Who knows what it was, you know, what the what the issue was. Alright. Damn, man. It's, people is just nuts, man. It says a three-year-old boy is stabbed and the neighbor is in custody. It says a three-year-old boy is recovering after being stabbed by his neighbor by a neighbor Thursday morning. Uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. It's, yeah, people, people just going nuts, man. And, and uh, you know, again, it's been a lot of kids, a lot of babies, man, a lot of young people catching judgment. You know, and that and that is proof that the Lord, you know the. The Lord ain't dealing with no no form of wickedness, man, and and judgment will come, whether you um, are a child or whether you are a woman, whether you are a man, whether you are old. You know, right? This is a, another. This is another one. This is a three-year-old boy is shot by another child playing with a gun in Detroit. Man. It says a dad is jailed after three-year-old finds a gun and shoots himself, man. That's three three-year-olds being shot or, or, or no, two being shot and one stabbed. But that's that's three three-year-olds in a row catching judgment. You know, so all of that, the, you know, the most high is, is all mercy, is all good, is all love. Yes, those things are, are very true. The Lord is about love. The Lord is very merciful, you know. But the Lord is very terrible, man. The scriptures say that the Lord, matter of fact, let me get it. Psalms 9 and verse 16. Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higayan Salah. Okay? And the wicked being snared in the work of his own hands is another form of saying, you reap what you sow. So these children, these babies, these kids, as, as much as people don't like it, whatever they've done in their past lives, they're receiving the judgment for those deeds, those acts in this lifetime. All right. This is five people are killed, including th uh, three children, in a horrific Orange, Orange County crash. Another article says a missing Indiana girl, six, uh, age six, is found slain in the woods, and a 14-year-old boy is arrested. Man. This is a three-year-old boy is attacked and killed by his neighbor's dog in New Jersey. Damn, man. Man. That's a horrific judgment. 
It says uh, the boy's mother was also seriously hurt. And neighbors say that the dogs have been a menace in the community. Those pit bulls bit people in this area, one um, neighbor said. So the damn dogs was already off the chain, you know, biting people. And, uh, you know, just, just they, were un, they were untrained. You know, pit bulls are very vicious dogs, man. And they're not to be, uh, you know, they're not to be taken taken lightly, you know. A kids is not a kids shouldn't be around big dogs as it is, let alone no pit bulls, man. Man. This is another one. I said this is a recent one. And matter of fact, this is uh, out here in Pittsburgh. You know. And I know exactly what McDonald's this is. It says a 12-year-old boy was waiting in line with his family at a Pittsburgh McDonald's. When a man stabbed the boy in the neck with a box uh, with a box cutter, it says police arrested Charles Edward Turner, age 51, uh, in the 2 p.m. Saturday incident. He faces multiple charges, including criminal attempt homicide and four counts of aggravated assault. He is being held uh, without. He is being held at Allegheny County Jail. The boy was taken to the hospital in critical condition and has updated to stable. So, you know, the little boy, he's doing all right, man. But, but damn, man, that was judgment. Who knows what the little boy is into, what he's done, what he's been doing. You know, it, you know, it, it was a random attack, according to, uh, you know, face value. But it wasn't random. The Lord put some, uh, allowed some demons to be put on this man, this 50-year-old, 50 51-year-old man. And to the point to where he, he attacked this young boy. He was a spirit created for vengeance. You know? All right, this is the last one. It says, uh, dogs kill Illinois Tyler after she got too, <clears throat> too close to his food bowl, man. So this one-year-old girl, she was mauled to death by a dog, man. It says she suffered a bite to the head, man. Man, and it said it was a female pocket bully, pit bull, again, a damn pit bull, which should not be in a house, let alone around kids, man. But this young one-year-old, this little girl, man, was was bitten in the head, and she ended up dying, man. That's just, that's just sad. But, you know, that's the judgment of, of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh And I'm going to close out by getting the rest of these scriptures. All right, but man, you know that, that that's why we are to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It's not enough fear of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in the earth, which is why wickedness is so is so uh, prominent. It's so you know not, uh, not prominent, but it's, it's it's so present. You know, it's it's it's, it, it's growing. Okay, uh, Ezekiel nine and verse four, and Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Which is talking about the elect being sealed with that spiritual mark, you know, that the why, that, that, that mark of exemption from judgment. Because there is heavy, heavy, harsh, you know, terrible judgment coming to, to, to America, Babylon the Great. Okay, beginning with Israelites. Verse 5. And to the others, okay, so those who aren't of the elect, those who aren't going to be exempt from judgment, okay, those who will be marked for destruction, okay, those are, that's talking about the others. It says, he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite, okay, what does it mean to smite, to slay, to kill? It says, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity, okay? It says, verse 6, slay utterly, old and young. Both maids and little children and women. Okay, the Lord is not a respecter of persons. It's wickedness and his righteousness. Okay, and 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 the Lord is dealing with righteousness. If you're a wicked kid, if you're a wicked child, okay, you're going to be slayed. If you're a wicked old man, old woman, you're going to be slayed. If you're a wicked uh, young woman or or young man, you're going to be slayed. Okay, depending on how the Lord wants it to be. 
okay and for the young young children who haven't sinned in this lifetime if you've sinned in your in your past life the lord will uh reserve you for a specific judgment like the young girl who got bit in her head you know the lord allowed that to play out like that man you know it, uh, an angel probably got in the little girl's uh you know mind or, or or ear or who knows how this is just me speaking as a man and, and somehow um uh you know persuaded that little girl to go near that that dog's bowl the do it's not a coincidence that the dog was eating at that that particular time okay the little girl could have went in the kitchen or wherever the dog bowl was and the dog wasn't there but the Lord allowed it to play out like that for the judgment's sake. That the dog was there and the little girl was there at the same time. The dog was 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 irritable and, and you know territorial over the food and mauled the little girl. Okay? And that's how it's gonna be in the, in the, in these last days when the Lord brings forth that judgment, man. You know, whether you know again, not to be the dead horse or to, you know, keep repeating myself, but Kids, old women, old men, young men, young women, you know, hey, it's a lot of Israelites that's about to, to get judged, you know. Uh, continuing on in verse 6, it says, But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Okay, it's talking about Israel, okay. That's the Lord's sanctuary, man. Like the scriptures say, for, uh, for judgment must first begin at the house of the Most High. All right, and that's where judgment is going to begin, man. Uh, and it says, then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. So yeah, you know, those who know that they're Israelites, those who know the truth, those who know right from wrong. That's that's where judgment is going to begin, for those who knew right from wrong and they continue to do wrong. All right, Romans two and eleven, for there is no respect of persons with the Most High, for as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. So, you know, the wicked Israelites who don't know the law and they out there committing wickedness, they're going to die in that wickedness. The Israelites who know the law, know right from wrong, and they're still doing right from wrong, they're going to die according to the law. Okay? And it's just as simple as that. You reap what you sow, whether you're a child, whether you're a young man, young woman, or whether you're an old man or old woman. All right, but Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the whole full leg. Okay, and Shalom.